Let's edit Word documents on your iPhone. Now, if you have a Word document, maybe you got it through an email, you download it into the Files app, or you download it on a website and you wanted to edit it, change it a bit on your iPhone, I'm gonna show you your options. Now, let's hop into the App Store here and I can hit this search button. And of course, I can just search for a word here and I could always download and install Microsoft Word. They have an app available for your iPhone. However, the unfortunate thing is that you have to pay for this. This is not a free app. So if you have a Word basically subscription, you can always download it and use it with your subscription, all that stuff. But if you don't, there is a free option. So let's just type in Google Docs here. So Google Docs is Google's version of Microsoft Word. You can see, you can just download it, it gets great reviews completely for free. So I've downloaded it, it's just Docs right here. Say I wanted to open and edit a Word document. I'm gonna go into my Files app here. You can see right here I have this just random Word document. I can tap on it and on your iPhone you can preview it but you cannot edit it. So to edit it, let's tap that little share icon at the bottom left and let's tap on Google Docs right here. It'll say save to drive and then now it'll allow me to open it up. Again, I can read it and I can hit that little edit button at the bottom right here. I can um, I can edit it, I can make things bold, I can underline, change the color, any of these different things, I can edit it however I want. And then of course you can just save it in Google Docs, you can send it to whoever you, you know, want through email, text message, whatever you wanna do with it. But now it lives in your Google basically drive so that any device, any computer, phone, tablet, whatever it may be, as long as you're signed into your Google account, you'll be able to access this Word document. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that, leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.